Could you tell us uh, where the U.S. Marine Corps F-35 program is at the moment, please? We're currently at the point of reaching an incredible amount of momentum in the program. We have our training squadron stood up in Buford and fully functioning, fully training, even brand new pilots right out of the training command to transition pilots from existing platforms like the AV-8, the F-18, and the EA-6B. We are also uh, have two operational squadrons in Yuma, Arizona, VMFA-121 and VMFA-211. Uh, we're getting ready to deploy our first squadron permanently over to Iwakuni, Japan, and that will be a big step forward for the program as that moves moves forward. Uh, we'll stand up another squadron in 2018. We'll, in 2018, we'll also see two squadrons deploy aboard uh, LHD ships, so small deck carriers with the Marine Expeditionary Units. So that will that will be two. And shortly thereafter, by 2021, uh, we'll have deployed aboard the carrier with the F-35C, which we are buying as well. And in the end, by 2030, we will have bought 420 uh, F-35s, 353 Bs, and 67 Cs. And we'll have 18 squadrons total, active duty, and two reserve. And that will be four F-35C carrier version uh, squadrons and 14 uh, F-35B squadrons, and then two reserve F-35B squadrons. How will the F-35 change the way you operate in the uh, literal environment? The F-35 changes everything that we do in the Marine Corps, and everything in the Marine Corps centers around the Marine Air Ground Task Force, the MAGTAF, and so in how we support our grunts. Marine aviation exists for one reason, and that's to support the MAGTAF, and primarily our infantry battalions, regiments, divisions, and the grunt. And so that changes everything for us. It allows us to go into places where we would be denied in the future. In 2025, the advanced air and surface threat, this aircraft allows us to go to those places and gain access to those places. And so it allows us to take down that air threat and that surface threat so we can get in as the ground elements go in and to provide them support. So that's sort of the bigger picture, but in an elementary way for the Marine Corps, it allows us to provide close air support, arm reconnaissance for our ground units in a way we couldn't do before. Ad uh, typically, a legacy platform needs a benign weather, benign threat to do that now. This aircraft can do it in a high threat environment, adverse weather environment. And that's something we could never do before. Uh, can, can you tell us about Future Force 2025 and, and what aircraft you'll be operating in the U.S. Marine Corps? Marine aviation is in complete transition at this point. We're about halfway through transitioning all of our platforms in, the, in marine aviation, starting with the F-35, which is a revolutionary change for tactical aircraft. We're transitioning the EA-6B, the AV-8B, and the F-18A through D to the F-35B and C. We're transitioning our AH-1 and UH-1 to the new version, the four-bladed H-1 and UH-1 aircraft. We're transitioning our CH-46s to MV-22s, which is another revolutionary change. It's a tilt-rotor aircraft and a game-changer, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit more. We're transitioning our KC-130Js to KC-130, uh, excuse me, our KC-130Ts to KC-130Js, the new KC-130. And then we're also transitioning our CH-53 Echoes to CH-53 Kilos. So, the, like I mentioned earlier, the F-35 is a revolutionary change, fifth generation fighter, tactical aircraft for the Marine Corps. The MV-22 created a revolutionary change just like that for the MAGTAF in its ability to go extremely long distances and land still vertically in austere locations. It, so that's pretty significant in how we change. And we've seen that today, they're operating like that in Africa, the Middle East, off of ships, from land, it's an incredible capability. The other change that's really coming, and we're in test right now, or in development right now, is a CH-53 Kilo. And that aircraft is gonna be an incredible aircraft. And it will be a revolutionary change in how we do business for the MAGTAF. It carries three times the load of a CH-53 Echo, and it's gonna go farther and faster. Uh, so those aircraft combined within, the, within our aviation branch of the MAGTAF is gonna revolutionary change how we do business and how we're able to accomplish our mission in tomorrow's fight.
Thank you very much indeed.